What is up, guys? It's time for another Marvel Champions Weekly One-Shot Challenge. And this week's challenge is called Need for Speed. We must attack the Speed Demon minion right here three times in one turn with the Quicksilver Hero. And the Speed Demon is from the Sinister Syndicate module set. That's from the Hood Scenario Pack. So for the Weekly One-Shot Challenge for this week, there is not a specific villain that we need to face. So I want to give a huge shout out here to the members of the channel. I had a members poll uh, only about four hours ago and asked you guys which villain you guys want to see me fight. And uh, Ultron won that pool, so we're going to be taking on Ultron here. Uh, thank you guys so much for the support. I appreciate you guys so much. And I also want to give a huge shout out to, uh, to Naro Antlers, who uh, said that he really wants to see me face Ultron here with uh, Standard 2, Expert 2. So we have the former four right here. I think that he just wants to see me lose, but he says that he believes. Um, we will see what happens. So we have the former four, which is the environment. If you're playing Expert mode only with Standard 2, so each enemy gains steady, including the villain and all minions. And then there's a permanent acceleration here as well. So let's go ahead and shuffle up Speed Demon into the encounter deck. And uh, I think that for the weekly one-shot challenge for this week, we don't actually have to defeat Ultron, the scenario. We just have to attack Speed Demon three times in one turn. So I think that's what we're going to try to shoot for here because I don't know if I can beat an uh, Expert 2, Standard 2 Ultron right here uh, with Quicksilver. But we'll see what happens. So I have the encounter deck shuffled up. And with the main scheme setup, it says to put the Ultron Jones environment to play right here. So we have that. Each phase on Jones main engage with the player has a scheme of one, attack one, and hit point of one. And when they're there defeat, they go into our discard pile. Let's advance the main scheme from stage 1A to stage 1B. And then let's shuffle up our player deck. The Crimson Cow here for the run review says to put the top card of your deck into play phase on engage with you as a drone minion. So we're going to shuffle up our player deck here, and we will get a drone minion to start this game off. All right, so we have a drone right here. And then I think we did Ultron setup, so let's go ahead and draw up to our hand size of six here in our Ultra Eagle. So one, two, three, five, six. All right, so we got, okay, ooh, we got doubles. Oh, I like these to help us look for the minion, but I don't think we can get it out. Uh, do I keep the power of regression here as well? I can always sweep our siblings, actually, so I think we hold on to that. And we're going to mulligan these three cards here. And then draw three more back up to our hand size here of six. Okay, so we got dust. We got this. Superpower training, I think we want as well. So at this point, we can mulligan, or we can uh, superpower siblings. I think maybe even this. Uh, we get one attack. Oh, no, that that's the one we don't want. Because if we get an extra attack, then... Um, the minion, we can't attack it three times because the minion has three life. And we need to attack it three times in one turn. So we don't play this here. I like the doubles a lot. I think we have the mulligan harder. So let's go ahead and use our superpower siblings. Action, discard two cards from your hand, then draw two cards. So do we do this? I'm, I'm a little bit worried about doing this. Uh, let's do it. Discard two cards from your hand, and then draw two. You know what? No, let's... let's Discard two cards from your hand and draw two. We need to hold on to the ally in case we don't get another ally. One, two. Well, we got another ally in Throg. So now I wish I didn't do that. That's fine. So we played Throg. And then we played this. Uh, we can thwart it out. And then play Dust. So that will work out still, actually. Okay. We are going to flip over here to Hero Form. And then we're going to use a resource here so I can play Superpower Training, which is a player size game for one cost. It comes in with three times player threat here. And then how do we thwart this out? Do we use? No, I have to use Throg, unfortunately. So this would be a double resource here so I can play Throg. After Throg enters play, give him a tough stats card if you're engaged with the minion. We are engaged with the minion, so he gets a tough stats card here. Quicksilver is going to thwart for one from Superpower Training, bring us from three down to two. And we'll use our Super Speed Effect. After you use one of your basic powers, like our Thor, we can ready Quicksilver back up. Let's Thor for another one, drop it down to one. Throg is going to Thor for one, clear this off. When this side scheme is defeated, we can search our deck and discard pile for an identity specific upgrade and put it into play. And this is a victory keyword, so it gets removed from the game. Let's look through our deck here for our, um, what's it called? Our friction resistance here, which is a three cost upgrade. And it says, as a hero response, after you ready Quicksilver, we can ready up this card. And we exhaust friction resistance to generate a physical resource. Shuffle up our deck. And then Throg will take a consequential damage, which will just knock off his tough stats card. Let's exhaust the friction resistance to generate a physical resource. This would be a double. We'll total three to play Dust. 
And whenever Dust attacks a minion, she attacks each minion in play. Um, she, but then she takes extra consequent damage. That's not, it's not a force interrupt, it's a regular interrupt. So we don't have to trigger it, we don't want to. Let's have Dust just swing for one and not trigger her interrupt. Knock out the drone minion. She would take only one constant damage because we didn't trigger the, the effect. Let's get in our turn, let's ready back up. We're going to draw back up to our hand size here of five in our hero form. And we lost like all the doubles there, which is pretty bad. Um, oh, I'm losing Mansion and Quinn Care here. Unless I could play Nick into the Quinn Care, that might be the better play. All right. It is Ocean turn. He's going to add two to the main because of the acceleration right there. He is going to attack us here. He's a force interrupt. Whenever he attacks you, put the top card of your deck into play phase and engage with you as a drone minion. Until the end of this attack, Ocean gets plus one for each drone minion engaged with you. So he's hitting with the base of three now because two plus to one. Draw wheel block. This will be his face down boost card, which will be uh, do one damage to each character you control. Dust takes the damage. Throg takes the damage. Quicksilver takes one. That will bring us from nine down to eight. And then it's going to be three damage. Defeats Throg. Then the drone minion here will hit us for one because the minions will attack after Ultron attacks in the activation phase. Quicksilver will defend for one. Then we use super speed. After you use a basic power, our defense is a basic power. We can ready him once per phase. This will be our one time during the villain phase. Then uh, we can dealt a face line counter card during the encounter phase, which will be cruel intentions. All right, this is pretty bad. This is a uh, expert two card. Peril and surge. When you do each player face on counter card, give the villain a face on boost card. This will surge now, so get another encounter card. We've got an advanced Ultron drone with guard when his, it's defeated, put the top card of your deck engaged with you as a drone minion. And then we reveal this encounter card now because it's already face down. Ooh, it's Speed Demon. Okay. So when a character attacks Speed Demon, uh, Speed Demon attacks that character, resolve Speed Demon's attack first. Okay. And then uh, this boost card just stays here with Ultron. So we have three minions right here. Okay. Um, hmm. We need to attack Speed Demon three times in one turn to win this challenge. Uh, I think we have to get Nick here to draw us some cards. So let's exhaust the friction resistance to generate a physical resource. This would be three more for a total of four, so I can play Nick Fury. When Nick Fury enters play, choose one pick they want to draw. Three, come on, one, two, three. Yeah, that is not it. Um, I could play Scarlet Witch here. I don't use Dust Effect right now. Uh, if we attack, oh, we can ready back up. Play Quinn Carry even. Um, friction resistance, and then, hmm. Angela gets us a minion, but we have Speed Demon now, so I don't need Angela's effect anymore. Uh, okay, let's think about how we want to do this. I can knock this guy out. We can ready up. Yeah, let's just do that first. So Quicksilver is gonna. Swing for one on the drone minion, knock it out. Then we can use our super speed to ready up after you use a basic activation once per phase. So this is the one time during the uh, hour phase. We ready up friction resistance here after you ready quicksilver, ready up this card. So we can generate another physical resource if we need it. And then do I play Quinn Carry here? Try to get built out a little bit. I think we do. We have to take speed demons attacks here because I can't let them get knocked out. Uh, and then the advanced ocean drone, we just take his attack. It's only one. Yeah, we're going to exhaust the friction resistance to generate physical. This would be, do I like our hyper perception that we get boarding? That's fine. This would be two more resources for a total of three. Now let's use Scar Wish. Two more here for a total of three, so I can play the Quinn Carrier. Quinn Carrier says, play only if your dining has the Avenger trait. We do have the Avenger trait here. And then we can exhaust Quinn Carrier to generate a wild resource. All right, we're going to have Nick Thor for two from the main scheme cleared off. Nick will take a consequence of damage. And then we're going to have Quicksilver swing for one on the advanced Ultron drone. And then we're going to pass here. Um, yeah, that's going to... We're going to ready back up. And Speed Demon's effect is as a force interrupt. Whenever a character attacks him, we, he attacks that character. And then resolve his attack first. So we attack him, he attacks us first. And then that's going to end turn. So we're going to drop it up to five, holding on to Hyper re re Perception. We got Bring It, which is huge. Okay, we got five cards here, so I'm feeling good with the Bring It. So hopefully we can get something going out here. All right, Ultron Stern is going to add two to the main with the Acceleration. He's going to attack us, triggers his Force Interrupt. He gets another Drone Minion here. And then he gets another Boost card here, so two boosts. Nick Fury is going to block it. And it's going to be Sun, the character you control with the highest attack value. So we can... Oh, the boost happens before the attack goes through. So we stun Nick Fury with the highest attack value. That's awesome. 
and it's just going to be one boost icon, plus two is going to be three, plus this drone in here is going to be four damage. Not out Nick Fury, he gets stunned before he gets knocked out, so that's really good for us. Then all the minions are going to attack us here. So uh, they don't have any effect when they attack, so when this drone minion hits it for one, we'll defend, we'll use our two speed to ready back up. Speed Demon hits us for two, we drop from eight down to six, then this drone hits us for one, we drop from six down to five. And then we get one phase down encounter card here, which is going to be oof, Sinister Onslaught. When reviewing hero form, each criminal minion in play attacks you. So Speed Demon is a criminal minion. He's going to attack us here for two. Uh, let me think here. If he attacks us for two, we drop down to three. Every single time we attack him, the force interrupt will trigger. We need Dust to block, I think, because I, I don't want to lose a shot. Yeah, so Dust is going to defend the attack for two. Dust gets knocked out. All right, and then it's, it's back to our turn here. I want to care attack Speed, Speed Demon attacks that character. Oh, wait, could we have Dust block for us during our... It doesn't matter. I think we could have. Okay, so it's back to our turn here. We're going to play a Bring It. Hero action. Draw one card for each minion engaged with you. Three minions, we're drawing three. One, two, three. Oh, we got a Thor. We have two Always Be Runnings as well. Okay, we have to. Let's just do this challenge first, and we can think what, what we want to do after that. So we're going to... Actually, I kind of want to play Hulk here. Um, to soak the attack for us. If I play a Hulk, if and I'll always be running, I can also play Thor. Uh, Thor will knock out the minions for us. Hulk is just there to block and attack because we're going to die. We don't do that, right? <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, let's do Quinn Carrier to generate a water resource. Fish resistance generates a physical resource so we can play Hulk. Then. We're going to have Quicksilver swing for one on Speed Demon, so we're going to attack him. His force interrupt whenever a character attacks Speed Demon. Speed Demon attacks that character, resolve his attack first. Hulk's going to defend this attack. So two damage goes on Hulk. Speed Demon's faster than Quicksilver. And Quicksilver will do one damage to Speed Demon here. All right. Then, after we made a basic attack to Speed Demon, we can use Super Speed after you use one of your basic powers, ready at once per phase. This will be the one time during the player phase. Then we can... Uh, also ready at friction resistance because it says after you ready quicksilver we ready at this card so we attack speed demon so far one time uh during this one turn right here right we gotta hit him two more times during this turn to uh, beat this challenge so uh let's just go ahead and swing for one so resolve his attack first he's gonna attack us for two we drop from five down to three and then he takes another damage then we're going to exhaust the friction resistance you generate a physical resource to play and always be running your action ready quicksilver and then we will attack again for one, which will, and the speed demon will trigger his thing first. So he's going to hit us for two. That will bring us from three down to one. So we're down to one life, but we can do one more damage to speed demon. And that is the third time that we have attacked him in one turn with the Quicksilver Hero. So we have officially um, succeeded in this week's uh, weekly one shot challenge. Yeah, so speed demon is knocked out here because we attacked him three times in one turn. And I'm glad we got that out of the way because I don't think we can win here, but uh, we're able to do that at least. Okay, so we did that, and then now we can figure out what we want to do with the rest of our turn. So I play to always be running. Oh, sorry, guys, I forgot. When I play to always be running with the friction resistance, I can ready up friction resistance immediately because Quicksilver are readied up with the always be running. So this card should be readied up right here. And I think we play, let's see, I really want to play Thor to knock out all the minions if we spend a energy. Uh... We hold on to the hyper perception, but then this threat is going to pop. Uh, there's nothing we can do about that. I think we still have to do that though. Okay, let's exhaust the friction resistance to generate a physical resource. This would be two more for a total of three, so we can play Thor. Thor comes in with toughness. And as interrupt, whenever he attacks a minion engaged with a player, we can spend a energy resource and resolve that attack against each minion engaged with that player. So we're going to have, sorry, an energy, yeah. So Thor's going to swing for three at the advanced Ultron drone spend an energy resource here so we resolve his attack against each minion so it knocks out the drone and knocks out this drone as well when this drone is defeated as a force interrupt the top card of your deck engage with it as a drone minion thor will take two consequent damage whoops this goes over here he will lose his tough stats card and then that is going to end our turn so let's ready back up and this will advance here really unfortunate we're gonna draw back up to five still holding on to our hyper perception here Oh, hopefully Ocean just gets a um, a uh, an attachment because we can just discard with Sunfire. Okay, so we're, we're down to one life. So we get that one thing that we just auto lose. 
a deconcussive blast. Ocean Storm is going to add two to main with deceleration here. This will pop and advance. So this will advance to stage 2A here. When reviewed, uh, you put the top card of your deck engaged with you as a drone minion. So get another drone here. Advance to stage 2B. And then Ochan's going to attack us here. We get another drone minion. He's hit with a base of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Plus a face down boost card here. Hope will block. Choose either spend a physical resource or put top card of your deck engaged with you as a drone minion. Oh, I think we, we have to spend a physical here. So a physical resource is going to be our friction resistance here. So we don't have to get a top card of our deck as a drone minion. Okay. So Ochan is going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 uh, damage. Knocks out Hulk. Then the minions are going to attack. So this minion hits us here for 1. We're going to defend. Not take the damage. Trigger super speed. Ready back up once per phase. This will be during the villain's phase. We're going to ready up friction resistance after you ready up quicksilver. So this minion's going to hit for 1. We're going to defend again. Not take damage. And the last minion here is going to hit for 1. Thor will block. And that's our own way to live because we have one hit point left. Face down encounter card is Seek and Destroy inside one and peril. So throw in the main scheme. Uh, search the encounter deck, discard pile, set aside area for your nemesis and main, put it into play, engage with you. So we get Avalanche here. It says inside two. So two more threat going on in the main scheme. This goes up to three. And then one of you, you must choose either take two inner damage or exhaust your denny. Can we choose to exhaust our denny if we are? I think we had to choose to take indirect damage because we're already exhausted. So let's put the 200 damage on Thor. So we live here another turn. All right, that was crazy. We actually uh, lived another turn, guys. I didn't expect for that. Um, so Avalanche here, if we flip down, we're going to probably just lose. Uh, let's use this first, though. We're going to exhaust the friction resistance to generate a physical resource to play always be running. Ready Quicksilver. And when our Quicksilver readies up, we can ready up the friction resistance here as well. Okay. They all scheme for one. We gotta flip down here. We could do some big thwarting. Uh, let's see if I play. Who do I play? Bug probably. If I play bug, I can play a hyper perception. Can I play even more than that? I don't think I can. Um, okay, we for sure get bug out though. I think that's the play. So let's exhaust fishing resistance and quick care to resource to play bug. Okay, bug is going to swing for one, knock out a drone minion. He'll take a consequential damage. Okay, we have not used uh, super speed yet this turn. So Quicksilver is going to swing for one, I think. Yeah, knock out a drone minion. And then we can use super speed to ready back up, which will ready up friction resistance as well. And then after you make a basic attack, we can heal damage from bug with his hero response. So he's back to full life as well. Because uh, Bug says after your hero makes a base attack, he won damage from him. Then we cannot use super speed this turn anymore. So I think we just play Sunfire here. And then we try to get a recovery off. Knock out this minion. Yeah, let's exhaust the friction resistance, generate a physical resource. This would be a second resource here to play Sunfire. And then Sunfire is going to swing for two. Take out this drone minion. But uh, he'll take a constant damage. Quicksilver is going to flip down to Alter. Let's exhaust your card by three. That will bring us from one back up to four. So we are hanging on, but we're about to deck out. That's going to turn. Let's ready back up. And then we're going to draw back up to our hand size here of six in our Alter Ego, holding on to the Hyper Perception still. Oh, we got to bring it there. We deck out. We get a face down counter card. Shuffle our discard power back into the deck. If we can get a massive swarm of weak drone minions here and draw a lot with Bring It. And Ocean does not advance the main scheme. So a lot of things need to go right here. Uh, but we may have a shot. We need a lot of the expert two cards, I think. Um, let's draw back up. So two more cards back up to six. All right. So it is Ochon's turn. He's going to add two to the main scheme with the acceleration for Formula Four. Goes up to five threat. He's scheme with a base of two. Oh, I forgot here. First response after playing the start here during step two one of the villain phase. We must choose to place two more down here or put the top of your deck into play engage with his drone minion. Let's get a drone minion. He's skin with a base of two. We need a zero booster here. We got a one boost. Oh man, it's still gonna pop. So he schemes for three. Then Avalanche schemes for one. The Joe schemes for one. This will hit 10, and this is going to advance. So this will advance to stage 3A. When review, choose either put top card of your deck and play engage with Joe or we don't have to choose. We have to do that. So we get another Joe here. Advance to stage 3B. And it says threat cannot be removed from this scheme. If it hits five, we lose the game. And there's acceleration, so it's going to hit five in three turns. So we have three turns here to win. 
And then in counterfeits, we deduct it based on counter card, total of two. First one is Ruin Nation. Inside one, that is not good. So two turns. And then discard cards on top of any counter deck until a side scheme is discarded. Reveal that side scheme. Place two threat on each scheme in play. Oh man, we can't cancel it. So we're going to mill here until we get a side scheme. Well, oh, this might be good because now we get a drone minion. Okay, so we got Ultron's Imperative here as our side scheme. Uh, when we view it, we put the top two cards of our deck into play and engage with you as a drone minion. Comes in with two times player threat. And it says here, review the scheme, place two threat on each scheme in play. So this actually goes up to four. And countdown to oblivion goes up to three. Yikes. Last encounter card here. Repair sequence. Ultron heals two damage for each drone minion engaged with you. If he does not heal, he does not heal because he has full life. This card will gain surge. We got total annihilation. This just surges in hero form. He will attack us, but we're in Alter Ego, so he doesn't attack. It will surge. Vibranium armor. Attach to the villain. After the villain takes damage, give it a tough stats card. Exhaust your hero and spend two physicals to discard this card. All right. So it is back to our turn here, guys. And I don't think we can get out of this one alive. We have our thwarting card to do a bunch of thwarting, but it doesn't matter at this point because... We cannot remove threat from this scheme with the scheme's effect, and it's going to add two with the acceleration there. But let's try to go out with a bang here and take as much out as we can. I wish that he didn't get this because now we can't do damage to him um, or also get tough stats card. So let's go ahead and do we use our effect here? No, we got to bring it. Let's flip over here to hero form. We're going to play bring it. Hero action, draw one card for each minion engage with you. One, two, three, four, five. So five cards. One, uh, two, three. Four, five. Oh, we could Angela and then Thor here. Uh, we also have Dust as well. Um, yeah, we can wipe out the minions here. And then... Uh, do we play Angela? That would max us on our, on our ally limit. It doesn't matter, though. Yeah, okay. Sunfire is going to swing for two on Avalanche. He'll take a consequence damage, get knocked out. Then we get Angela out. No, I mean, we might as well just do as much as we can, which is a double time. And then a, another double time. And then a Thor. And then we can use this a couple of times as well. So let's exhaust. Oh, I think we could play Angela, actually. And if we, what else can we do? We might be able to get Scar Witch, maybe. Let's exhaust the friction resistance to generate a physical resource. And then this would be a second resource here. So I can play double time. Choose two of the following. You may choose the same option twice. When you pick the one and do two damage to enemy, Ultron. That will bring it from 22 down to 20. Then it says here, after he takes any amount of damage, give him a tough status. Actually, wait, wait, wait. Should we use the hero? Actually, wait. Sorry, guys. Before we do that, we're just going to use the hero action here because we have so many resources anyways. Um... We're not going to play a double time with the friction resistance. We're going to use the hero action here. Oh, wait. We need the ready. Um, we could attack once. But then he'll get a tough if we attack. Okay, we're going to use the hero action here. Exhaust your hero. Spend two physicals. Ah, that's not even good. That's fine. We don't have any readies here. Yeah, we don't. Two physical resources. We're going to use the friction resistance and the quinn carrot to generate two physicals to discard this card. We're just going to go out with allies then, I guess. All right, then we're going to play Angela here, I think. Let me see. We have double for double time. Uh, another two for double time. Do we have the resources for that? No, we don't because we can't ready it for friction resistance anymore. All right, that's fine. This would be three resources here, so I can play Thor back down. He comes in with a tough stats card. Then we are going to have Thor attack Avalanche. Thor's effect, whenever he attacks a minion engaged with a player, we can spend an energy resource. So right here is the energy to resolve that attack against each minion engaged with that player. That will do three to every single minion. Minion, knock them all out. So these Strowmans are all knocked out here. And then Thor will take two cost for damage, lose his tough status card. All right, here we go. This is the most we can do. So we're going to do two resources here to play a double time. Hero action, choose two of the following actions. We're going to choose the same one twice. Do two damage to enemy and do two damage. So four on Ultron. That will bring from 22 down to 18. Then we're going to use a double resource here to play another double time. Another four damage on Ultron. That will bring from 18 down to 14. Then we're going to have Bug 
swing for one on Ochon. That will bring it from 14 down to 13. Bug will take a consequential damage. And we have no more cards in our hand. We're just going to pass her and end our turn. Let's ready back up. We're going to draw back up to our hand size here of 5 in our hero form. Got some decent-ish cards. And then Ochon's turn, he's going to add 2 to the main scheme because of the acceleration here. This goes up to 5 threat. Uh, threat cannot be removed in the scheme, so we couldn't throw it out. If this stage is completed, the players lose the game. It's going to be completed here because it's 5, and the threat threshold there is 5. And uh, yeah, that is it, guys. That is Quicksilver versus Ochon here, a very thematic matchup. But uh, just like in the... Uh, in the age of Ocean, it's very thematic because uh, Quicksilver here is defeated and uh, he dies here and he cannot take out Ochon. But I think, and correct me if I'm wrong, guys, I do think that we were still able to succeed in this challenge um, because we were able to attack Speed Demon here three times in a single turn with Quicksilver. And um, yeah, I also want to give a huge shout out and thank you to Naro Antlers for recommending that I do this with Standard 2 Expert 2. We got um, how many? Standard 2 Expert 2 cards that we get. We got 1, 2, 3, uh, 4, 5, 6 Standard 2 Expert 2 cards. Yeah, they, uh, it was really rough, man. Um, I, I don't know if you, yeah, I mean, I know you believed. I'm sorry that I let you down. We were not able to um, defeat Ocean here with the Standard 2 Expert 2, but still succeed in a challenge, I think. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay, and I'll see you guys in the next video.